What's up everybody? Today we're gonna add some envelopes to our setup. This is something that I found is missing from the sound studio and that's especially with the mother and the subharmonicon is you cannot modulate the attack and decay of the envelope. Also on the mother, there's only one envelope, so you can't separate the filter envelope from the amp envelope. As I said in the very, very first video for this entire series, that I think a great way to approaching modular is when you get to something that you wanna do and you can't do it with the tools that you have, that's when you should go out and get a new module to use. And this would be one of those cases where there's been times where I've looked at the mother and said, geez, you know, I wish I could have an envelope specifically dedicated to the filter and then another one dedicated to the amp. And you couldn't do that unless you use the patch points and external modules. So that's what we're gonna do here today. I've got two patches set up. One, we're gonna make a killer bass voice using the mother, that's what you heard on the intro. And the next one is gonna be a patch that I have using the Subharmonicon. It's from my Subharmonicon patch book that I'm putting up on Patreon, it's called Time Lapse. And we're gonna use Quadrax as the envelopes to our filter and we're gonna modulate the attack and decay using other modulation sources in our rack that we're putting together. So it's pretty cool stuff. Before we get over to the rack, let me make my little pitch. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you wanna support me, sign up to Patreon. The link's in the description. And also, I put affiliate links to Perfect Circuit, so feel free to click through there if you wanna buy any of these modules. It throws me a small tip at no additional cost to you. All right, let's go check out the rack and make some music. Let's start off with the bass sounds. So one of my favorite ways to make bass sounds, this is how I designed bass sounds when I was using soft synths. And it's also one of the limitations I find to the sound studio, particularly the mother. So if you'll notice on the subharmonicon, there's both an envelope for the filter and an envelope for the, uh, for the VCA, for the amp. On the mother, we have one shared envelope. And so that kind of limits our sound. One way I love to make bass sounds is to have the envelope of the amp longer than the envelope of the filter. So you can actually hear the filter cut off, but yet the sound will go on for a little bit. With a little bit of resonance, it sounds super awesome. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. I have a patch dialed up. This is just a sequence. As you can see, there's nothing really patched in with the mother except for its connection to the DFAM. The DFAM is just super simple stuff. This is what it sounds like. So that sounds pretty cool. It has a great tone to it. Now, one thing I often do with the sound studio is I'll turn down the cutoff and turn up the envelope to affect both the cutoff and the amp at the same time. which that's kind of cool too. I like it, it's good. However, I think it just sounds so much better when the amp of the filter is going a little bit faster, has a little, or if the tack's really tight, to have a slightly tighter decay. So that's what we're gonna do first, is we're gonna use Quadrax to create a separate envelope that's going to affect the cutoff of the filter and be separated from the amp envelope. Then we're also gonna add some modulation and some other cool stuff. So here we have Quadrax. It's a full featured module. There's tons of stuff you can do with it. It can act as a modulation source. You can modulate any of these parameters. I mean, it's just, it's just really deep. But on its surface, its most basic level is that you have four envelopes here. They can be triggered through these inputs and then you can take the envelope out. It can be attack and decay or, or I think as they call it, rise and fall or attack and decay. Or you can change it using this button to be attack hold decay, 
and LFOs, it can be cycling. There's burst functions, all kinds of stuff. I don't wanna to get too much into it because what I'm really trying to show is how an extra envelope can affect the sound studio. And you could use any envelope for this. So we're gonna be using Quadratic's most basic functions. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do, we wanna trigger Quadrax from the mother. There's two gates, one's an input, one's an output. We're gonna come out of the output and we'll send that right into the trigger of Quadrax. When the envelope is triggered on the mother, it will also trigger Quadrax. Then we can take quad that envelope out of Quadrax and send it right into our filter. Let's turn this mod amount down so that way this envelope isn't impacting it at all. In fact, if you wanted to turn it to an LFO, you could even have the LFO modulating it as well. We'll leave that off for now. Let's just hear what it sounds like. That is just, it just makes it super funky. If we turn the sustain off here. One of the reasons I think it makes it sound so cool is because this resonance, when it's turned up, you can actually, the amp is still active, the amp is still up as the decay of the cutoff is going down. So you can hear that resonance sweep, especially like in this sequence, there's a bunch of fast notes, but if you listen to where the rests are, you can really hear that sweep of the resonance go down. Awesome. Well, another thing we can do with Quadrax, and this is another thing that I think is missing from the sound studio, you don't have the ability to modulate the attack and decay of the mother or of the attack and decay of the envelopes in the subharmonicon. You can uh, modulate the decays of some of the envelopes on the DFAM, and that's such a useful input. So here, because we're using Quadrax, we can actually modulate anything we want. So how you do that is you have these four modulation inputs. If you hold down whichever lane you want, it'll blink in magenta. I already have these programmed in. You can choose which CV you want. So I'm gonna choose A because I want this input to affect any of these parameters. And you can choose how much to, it's almost like a built-in attenuator but I'm gonna have them going at different rates. So we'll have this one impacting the rise of channel one. All right, so, and then we'll go down to channel two and I have this one, CVB, impacting the fall and that's of channel one. And I know it's of channel one because the magenta button is blinking. So that's how you use Quadrax. Uh, it's pretty detailed in the manual and easy to figure out. But what I really want to show is just what it sounds like when you're modulating these as well. So let me get out of that mode. So now we have it programmed so that a an LFO going into CVA will modulate the rise and an LFO going into CVB will modulate the fall. So I'm going to use my quad LFO. We'll also use our, our 10 inverter and we'll go into CVA with this one, and we'll go into CVB. This one will have a slightly longer one. Now these, number one and number four, are modulating these, and it's attenuated right here. 
turn the offset down to zero. So let's hear what that sounds like. Pretty awesome stuff. All right, let's head on over to the Subharmonicon. I got another patch that I wanna show this same type of idea off. Okay, so this is a patch that I have dialed up on the sub. This is called Time Lapse. I just posted the patch diagram on my Patreon page. It's part of my uh, Subharmonicon patch book. You should be able to recreate this from that patch, but this is what it sounds like. So when I made this patch, one thing that I really wanted to do was as I was playing with it, I was just going back and forth with the attack and decay and the envelope amount. And you can just create all these different textures in the background. And, and I couldn't even choose how I wanted to set the patch because they all just sounded so good. And what I realized is that really it's the modulation that makes it sound awesome. Like if I just modulate it by hand, listen to it. So that slow modulation really just affects the texture of the sound. I think it makes it sound great. So we're going to use Quadrax in the same way we did above, and we're going to use a slow, slow LFO at very attenuated to modulate the attack and decay of the filter. Now this one's a little bit more complicated than the one above too, because the filter amount is the envelope amount is negative. So we're gonna have to flip this over. And that's why we want our attenuverter to do that. So first of all, let's take the trigger coming out of the subharmonicon and plug it into our quadrax. That's pretty straightforward. Trigger out, trigger in. So now we should have the trigger lined up directly with this. And then let's come out of quadrax and do just like we did before and we'll go into the cutoff. Now, actually, before I get there, that clicking sound that you could hear, listen. This is another challenge in that the sequence two clock is pinging the filter. So this patch point is already kind of taken up. So that creates an issue where number one, I have to create, I have to somehow mix that ping along with an inverted envelope from Quadrax and send that all into the cutoff. First, let's tackle that part. So let me plug the trigger back in just where I was. But before I plug this into the cutoff, we're gonna have to make a stop first. Let's take that sequence two clock out and we'll use our AI synthesis mixer to mix the CVs. So now CV1 is gonna be the sequence two clock and we'll take the envelope from Quadrax. First, we have to invert it. So let's come out of Quadrax, send it into our 10 inverter and turn it upside down. Now it should be the envelope just flipped over and we can send that into the second channel of our AI synthesis mixer. And finally, we'll come out of that and into the cutoff. So now let's just review what we have. We have the, the sequence two clock plugged into the first channel of the mixer. So we can control the amount here. We have our trigger coming out of the subharmonicon into the trigger of Quadrax. 
and that one coming out into an attenuverter, which flips it over and sends it into channel two, which we can control the amount here. You could also control the amount here. So now we kind of have both, but whatever. Now the, the last thing we're gonna wanna do is actually turn the envelope amount on our sub to zero because we don't wanna double the envelopes. And now that it's at zero, this envelope has no impact on it at all. So now essentially we've just replaced this envelope. Let's hear it. Cool. I've already programmed these CVs to uh, be modulated. So let's go ahead and get a really slow LFO. Let's use maths this time and we'll make it a super slow LFO. There, that is just inching along. We'll plug right into number one. One of the reasons math is so awesome too is that you have a 10 inverters already built in. It's just such a great module. And we'll have this one be going nice and slow as well. And they'll be going at slightly different rates, which is also super cool. Wow, 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 that was awesome wah wah sounds. Let's plug in our DFAM just to add a little bit of uh, rhythmic texture to add some kick to it. So there you have it. I hope you liked this video. Quadrax is a really great envelope generator and it can do so much more. So, you know, don't think that you have to buy Quadrax. It's pretty pricey and there are tons of other envelopes out there. Some that are much simpler and easier to use. Maybe they don't have the LFO functions and cycle functions and things like that, but that's okay. One thing though that I would recommend if you're getting an envelope is make sure that you can modulate things like the attack and the decay. There's also attack, decay, sustain, release envelopes, ADSR envelopes. So you're probably going to want to try a few and see what works for your setup. Maybe even have just a few on hand for different patches. Either way, I hope this gets your creative juices flowing and you can kind of start to sense how all of these things are coming together. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.